Let's talk a little bit about this pilot program, what it entails, and what the long-term opportunity could potentially be for GATIC. Definitely. So our partnership with Walmart is uh, a huge validation that commercialization and scalability of autonomous vehicles uh, will happen in the B2B short-haul logistics space. Uh, that's what uh, Gatik focuses on. And uh, both the companies, you know, are very excited, uh, you know, for us. It's, a, it's uh, focusing on scaling and uh, commercialization of the autonomous vehicle technology. Let's dig into that a little bit more, what that means when you're talking about business-to-business -business short haul logistics. We hear a lot when it comes to automated vehicles and deliveries about long haul with tractor trailers mm -hmm. that are self-driving. We also hear about that last mile to consumers' doorsteps. Why are you focusing on this specific part of the market? Definitely. Yes, and that's, that's the perfect application. Uh, so think of our solution as filling the gap. Uh, we call it the middle mile. It's uh, hugely underserved, and it's a huge business opportunity for, for us. And uh, we believe that you know, while operating the vehicles back and forth on known routes, we can over-optimize our algorithms to perfect these routes. So this is a much more constrained environment, and uh, the promise of autonomy can be realized sooner than B2C delivery applications or uh, other applications of autonomous driving technology like passenger transportation. When you Gotham, say what, what is Walmart really doing here? Because they're also working with Waymo and Udelve. Is this sort of a competition between multiples to see uh, who can optimize the route the fastest? And when, when is the next stage? Definitely. So we are actually the first company that is working with Walmart uh, for this particular use case. So what that means is we are not delivering anything to the end consumer. Our autonomous vehicles uh, will be moving goods for uh, Walmart from one of their dark stores to their neighborhood markets in Bentonville, Arkansas. Uh, with some of the other uh, companies that uh, Walmart is working with, uh, the focus is more on B2C deliveries. Our focus is to move goods between businesses in an in a urban environment. Uh, the whole idea is uh, let's not try to change end consumer behavior. Let's try to bring the promise of autonomous vehicles uh, to businesses and help them save on operating costs in the near-term future. A lot of what's been argued over the past couple of years is that the real efficiencies on autonomy are on highway driving. Is that no longer the case? Um, to Morgan's question, how much more effort do you have to put into when you're dealing with traffic, corners, municipalities, and that kind of thing? Yes. So Gatik is focusing on the middle mile. And when I say the middle mile, uh, it's uh, filling the gap between long haul trucking and the, and the smaller sidewalk delivery robots. Uh, the middle mile is uh, the most underserved segment of the whole supply chain. Uh, you know, it is the most expensive part of the whole supply chain. So for us, the reason to focus on this middle mile is to uh, help our customers, which are businesses, uh, help them save a lot on the operating cost. In addition to that, there is a huge shortage of drivers uh, in this segment that, you know, with our solution, uh, our, cu our customers can uh, help fulfill. So that's why, you know, for us, it's, uh, it's a huge validation. How much are you talking about in terms of cost savings, especially given the fact that there is still a driver behind the wheel? Yes. So right now, uh, on all the testing and all the deployment is with a safety driver. Uh, the aim of the company is to take the driver off, scale the solution, and commercialize this technology. Uh, at scale, uh, we are talking about saving up to 50% uh, for our customers. Yes. So uh, it, it seems to me like on a corporate campus would be the easiest place to deploy complete driverless, also to map out the environment, uh, to, to deal with safety issues. Do you expect your technology even maybe within a warehouse uh, to, to have its first broader deployment? That's definitely one use case uh, that you know, we can target for us. The focus is to operate the vehicles on public roads. You know, when we talk about operating uh, these vehicles between businesses, there are a lot of constraints that you know, we can introduce. You know, for example, uh, you know, very famously, FedEx and UPS trucks, they mostly take right turns because it's more fuel efficient for them. You know, if we have something similar for our solution, uh, what that means is uh, we don't have to worry about changing lanes. We don't have to worry about solving a very tricky situation in our space that is unprotected left turns. So as a company, as uh, the solution, uh, we have a clear go-to-market strategy by installing or you know, introducing some of these constraints. And you know, not taking left turns uh, is just one example. Even though the stack, the technology can handle uh, left turns, lane change, intersection, intersection, uh, traffic light navigation today. And lastly, Gotham, and quickly, um, 
Just mm -hmm. how many years do you think we're out from fully autonomous vehicles on the road for supply chains? Quickly. Definitely. What, what I can share is uh, with our application, we, uh, we are focusing on introducing these vehicles without safety drivers before a B2C delivery application or a passenger transportation application.